A tick is one of the most dangerous things on the planet. Even though it may not look like it, a single bite could affect you for the rest of your life. But how can this happen exactly? On today's challenge, we're going to show you what happens when you get bitten by a tick. Would it make you feel sick? Or would you not even notice? This is your body on a tick bite. Ticks are not insects. They're parasitic arachnids that can be as small as a poppy seed. They're capable of carrying more diseases than any other arthropod. But not all ticks are disease carriers. The most common disease transmitting species is the black-legged tick, also known as the deer tick. What if a disease-ridden deer tick bit you? How quickly would you feel the effects, if at all? Okay, you're hiking through a meadow of tall grass on a warm spring day. Little do you know that it's prime tick season and you'll be bringing home a stowaway. Ticks don't always latch on right away. They sometimes spend an hour or two searching for the perfect place to feast, often where there is thin skin near a blood vessel. When a tick finally finds the perfect place to extract your blood, it burrows its head into your skin. It unleashes a feeding tube and secretes blood-thinning, skin-numbing saliva. Not only did it bite you, but you didn't even feel it. Ugh. The tick has likely been feeding on a moist area on your body, like your groin or armpits. And by now, the tick is much larger than a poppy seed, having gorged on your blood for over 24 hours. There are many diseases transmitted by ticks, like the Powassan virus and the Rocky Mountain spotted fever, but the most well-known tick-borne ailment is Lyme disease. A 2014 study found that only 1 to 3% of people bitten by a tick carrying Lyme disease will become infected. But the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says the number of reported cases of Lyme disease in the United States has tripled since the late 1990s. Luckily, disease transmission is not instantaneous. The CDC says that if the tick is removed within 24 hours, your chances of getting Lyme disease are low. Unfortunately, you continue to go about your day not realizing that there's a blood-sucking parasite attached to your body. Okay, you've finally noticed the tick as it has become engorged and grown to three times its original size. Oh, that's nasty. Now, it's time to remove it. Get some tweezers and grasp the tick close to your skin's surface. Pull straight up and away from the skin, applying steady pressure. Do not bend or twist the tick. Next, check the bite to see if any of the tick's head remains and carefully remove it. Clean the bite with soap and water. Then, submerge the tick in rubbing alcohol to make sure it's dead. You'll notice a solid red oval that looks like a bullseye at the bite site. Nah, it's probably nothing. It'll go away in a couple of days, right? The tick debacle is behind you, but much to your dismay, it left a sinister parting gift. The red bullseye remains at the bite site and you've developed a full body rash. And over the past four weeks, you've had persistent headaches, neck stiffness and aches everywhere. Plus, you're nauseous. As the month has progressed, you're experiencing a fever and chills. You notice that your lymph nodes are swollen. You assume it's just a bug and not the blood-sucking disease-carrying kind, so you take some painkillers and ride it out. After months, your symptoms have gotten even worse. On top of feeling sick all the time, 
You've also had a hard time concentrating and remembering things. You've finally decided to see a doctor. You've been diagnosed with Lyme disease. If you spotted this tick six months ago and went to the doctor right away, this disease would have been easier to treat. You may not even have got it in the first place. You'll need antibiotics right away. Luckily, there's hope you'll get back to normal, but it could be a long road to recovery. Even after antibiotics, people who have Lyme disease can experience symptoms for up to six months. But if you seek medical attention, you will eventually recover. I got better. You see? Hopefully, you can avoid something like this happening. After all, the key to preventing Lyme disease is making sure a tick never latches onto you in the first place. When exploring the outdoors, wear long pants with socks pulled up over your ankles. After you get home, check for ticks, especially on your head, legs, and ankles. And don't forget to check your pets. A tick bite can affect them as well. Although getting a tick bite can come with some serious consequences, you did manage to survive. But what about another challenge with a far lower survival rate? Like being allergic to everything? Well, we'll see what that challenge brings on the next episode of Your Body On. <laughs> <laughs>